Everyone's scared of AI taking over our jobs. As a coder, let's see if ChatGPT can do all of the work for me when coding a stock monitor. I'm Gage, and we're gonna use the free version of ChatGPT to get a price monitor for this website, ryman.co.uk. The end goal of this is for it to send us a Discord notification every time the price drops below $44.99. So we'll start by asking ChatGPT probably the, the broadest question. How do I code a stock monitor in Python that sends me a Discord webhook? Question mark. I like to be to be quite nice. I'll give it a nice thank you afterwards. Okay, so first step, set up a Discord webhook. Go to your server, navigate to a channel, click the settings, click webhooks, create webhook. Okay, cool. So I've got Discord open here. I've already got the channel. Let's edit the channel. It said go to integrations, webhooks, and create webhook. So the whole idea of this is I'm going to try and get away with not coding a single line of code. I'm just going to use ChatGPT. So it says install necessary Python libraries. It's using this Y finance to get... Uh, stocks, which obviously we don't want, but we've done the webhook. Now let's ask it a specific question for this website. I want a monitor that checks the price of this website and sends me a Discord webhook notification when the price drops below the current price please and thank you got to be nice to the ai you know when they when it takes over we i think the people who are nice to chat gpt will be spared from its evil wrath so it's telling us sub this called webhook which you've already done it says install necessary python libraries so it thinks we're going to need beautiful soup four time and requests this I already have installed, but all you need to do is just paste this into your command prompt and it would install. Now it's given us this whole code. So let's have a look at this. So it's got our webhook URL for Discord. So this is the one we just generated. We've got the product URL, which is the thing I just gave it. The check interval. So I guess uh, this is saying that it wants to check once an hour. I think we can probably change that to be a little bit quicker. And our current price is set to none. So we've got three different functions here. So the first one, get current price, send Discord notification, and monitor price. So we'll start with monitor price. Seems like it's going to use get current price and then the product URL. So it's going to get this and then use beautiful soup to get the response to the request, which is essentially the HTML to the page here. And it's going to use beautiful soup to find the elements that has the class of price. So, and then it's going to find the text of price by stripping the element of the pound. Okay, so let's see if that would work. Uh, I don't want to put it into my code editor yet because it might not work. We can test this manually. So we want to find basically the price on the HTML here. So what we want to do is just right click and do inspect. And then it's going to bring up our HTML to the right here. I'm just going to do command F and I'm going to search for 44.99, which is obviously the price. So we see there's one here with a meta property. I think that's not the one it's going for. It's going for one called span, which might be wrong. Uh, let's keep trying to dig and see if there's one with span not yet or at least not as oh there's one here okay span class price and it's got the price there and then it is finding the elements if price elements dot get text so it's getting the text from this element which is this bit here the 44.99 and is stripping it off the pounds. Well, I have to say, I thought there'd be more back and forth here, but this looks really good. And then for the webhook, if the price is lower than the current price, 
then it is going to do the send Discord notification. And then it executes this function and it sends a request to the webhook with the message data that we can fill in here. Okay, that is really good. That does look pretty insane. We're going to just copy this and we're gonna test if it works in our editor over here. Right, I've pasted it in. We just need to fill in a few boxes. So webhook URL, what we generated here earlier, which is exactly what ChatGPT said. We'll paste that in. We've got the product URL. I think the check interval will change to 10 seconds. Current price, because the price isn't gonna change, we'll set the current price to 50. And just need to see if this is, is an integer or a string. Okay, it looks like it's an integer, so I'll just set that as 50. And then I think we're good to go. It's already got the message filled in for us. This is completely insane. I didn't think it would be this good. Let's see if it works. So we'll just right click the top here and we'll just do run chat GPT. And we'll see if it works. Okay, current price 49.99, which is what I set up here. And it's detected that it's 44.99. It says notification sent successfully. Let's take a look at our Discord. Oh my God. It is here, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, the price, it looks like there is a bug here with the... Why does it think it's 50 pounds? Oh, we might have a bug here. Let's stop this running. It thinks that the price of the element is $49.99, but actually it's $44.99. So I wonder where that's being picked up. $49.99. It's probably picking up this, which is the old was price. Ah, so we do have a bug with ChatGPT. So I wish I could just fix it because it's a pretty easy bug to fix, but we're going to ask ChatGPT to fix it for us. This code brings up the was uh, the was price for this product. I need it to pick up the current price. Can you change the soup.find to, and we're still not gonna write any code. We're just gonna tell it the meta and then the property being this. To meta property and to find the content of this element. Cool. Let's see if it can work out what I just said. I'm not sure I put it the best way. Okay, meta, and then it finds the property there. Is that right? That's slightly incorrect, I think. Oh no, it's fine. And it gets the content and it strips it. You uh, notice in the last one, it was dot replace with the pound, but somehow it knows that this element doesn't have uh, a pound sign here. So it must be reading this website, even though I thought ChatGPT doesn't do that. Uh, so instead of copying the whole thing and then me changing the webhooks, I'll just copy this and paste it below here. Awesome. Let's see if this works. So really, we should be getting $44.99 in the Discord notification. $44.99. Chat GPT, you've done it again. I think that there probably needs to be a little bit of work. You know, if Chat GPT could really deep dive onto the website and figure out what was the previous price and what was the new price, then all coders would be out of a job. <laughs> but uh, fortunately, you still need a little bit of technical skill to get this stuff working, but not nowhere near as much as you'd need five years ago. So that's all. Will ChatGPT take our jobs? Probably pretty soon, but right now I think we're safe.